Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving math problems, T's math problem out of this book here, the official study manual for T's 2021. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today, we'll do some practice problems dealing with ordering numbers, either ascending order or descending order, dealing with uh, that concept. Some practice problems that you will find on page number 144. Turn to it. Always make sure the book is in front of you. Page number 144. I don't know what it is. I'm looking for. There we go. Page 144. Today is our day number 11. There are five problems on that page. We'll do. We'll take. We'll, we'll tackle them today. All right. If you wish to get hold of me, if you decide at the end of the video that you found it helpful and you would like to work with me, you can always get hold of me by sending me an email at kishwaniprep at icloud.com. Let's take a look at the first number. It says, write in ascending order, in increasing order, write in ascending order. So let's do that, shall we? Ascending order. Let's first, sorry, this is the whole number. This is decimal. Let's convert this into decimal. This is 8.75. There we go. Now it makes it very easy. Negative 8 is the smallest one which is smaller than, that comes, this guy comes next, this is, four, is 0.43, this is 0 0.75, so 8.43 is the next one, and that is greater than 8.75. There we go, they're in ascending order, from the smallest to the largest, negative 8.43 8, 8 and 8.45. And that's all it was, just have to convert this 3 quarter into decimal, so you can see immediately this, this is 75, this is 43. Number 2. Number two says, compare nine point one four versus nine and one sixth. I think starting from next video, starting from tomorrow, day number twelve, when we start the new topic, it's already been eleven lessons. Is today is the eleventh time? It's already been eleven lessons, and I don't think you need now this information about the ISBN or the of the book and exactly what book we are using. You already know what we are using. I think I'm going to erase that thing. It's just occupying room. Make sure you watch these videos from all series that I have on my channel. Just type in Keshwani. Always type in my name. Type in Keshwani. T's 5 Day 1. There are 80 videos dealing with the 5th edition of T's and as I told you the first day of the course math is math. Math does not go out of fashion. So you will still find them useful. You will still find them beneficial. Let's see what we can do here. There are two ways we can go about it. One way is to simply understand that uh, 0.14 here. You see what we have to understand here is that this is 9 and this is 9. Comparing 9 versus 9 is not going to play any role. What's going to play a role is this part, 0.14, this part right here, and 1.6. We have to compare these two quantities. And that's what you have to do. We don't have to worry about we don't have to carry the we don't have to lug the nine around on our shoulders throughout the entire problem. So let's just write this as 0.14 versus 1 sixth. 0.14 is 14. Let's convert this into decimal. Let's convert this into decimal. And this is what we there are some basic things, elementary things that you have to know in arithmetic to make your life easier, to make it go a little bit faster. I hope that you know, I hope that you know, and of course you do know it that one third is equal to 0 0.3333333 on 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 which can be approximated which can be approximated as approximated which can be approximated as 33 percent or what we're claiming is that what we're claiming is that one third is approximately one third is approximately 0.33 which of course we know it's not, because it doesn't end at 0.33, it's 0.3333 forever and ever, but approximately 0.33, which is 33%, okay, stay with me in the story, stay with me in the story, so if we take the one third, and if we take a half of that, half of one third, would simply be one sixth, we already know, we already know that one third is approximately 33%, we already know that one third is approximately 33%, and therefore, one sixth should be approximately half of 33 percent. Half of 33, half of 32 is 16, and half of another one, one. There you go. 
which means once once which means one six is approximately sixteen and a half percent. And in decimal it will simply be point point one six five. One sixth is approximately point one six five. There you go, and that's what we need. We're comparing point one six versus point one four. We didn't even have to go we didn't even have to we didn't even have to take the trouble to go as far as sixteen and a half percent. We could have just used sixteen percent and still be able to tell which one is bigger. So one third is approximately thirty-two percent or thirty-three percent, even if we take thirty-two percent approximately half of that is sixteen and that's all we need here. Sixteen versus fourteen. This guy is bigger. That's all. This guy. This guy is bigger. Another way we could have done it. Another way. Another way we could have approached this thing. I'm going to do it the second way. Again, let's start out our start out our story with 0.14 versus one sixth. And 0.14 can be written in fraction as 14 over 100. I hope you know that. So we're comparing 14 over 100 over versus one over six. And we learned yesterday, in day number 10, and the day before, how to compare fractions. Very simple. You just do like this, 14 times 6, the arrow goes up there, so it's 14 times 6 come over, some comes over here. And over here we're going to have 100 times 1, 100 times 1, which is just 100. So let's see which one is bigger. 14 times 6 is 20, 4, 6 is 24, 4, carry 2, 6 and 2 is 8, there you go, this is 84 versus 100, 100 of course is bigger which means we are claiming that 1 6 is bigger than 9, 9 and 1 6 is bigger than 9 and 9.14, there you go. It's the same conclusion that we drew before, obviously. So you can do it either way. Either way would work just fine. Let's do number 3. Let's do number 3. Number three says, arrange in descending order. So we arrange them in decreasing order, they have to decrease as we go along. So we start with the biggest one and we end with the lowest one. And the numbers are negative four, point four, four and one fifth and negative point zero four. Well, let's put them on a number line. That's the simplest way to do it. Let's put them on a number line. Here's our zero. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the negative four right here. So that's this guy right here, way over here. And the biggest one we have is positive one and fifth, which is again one, two, three, four. Positive one, two, three, four. And four and one fifth is going to fall somewhere here. That's the biggest guy. What we have to be careful about is these two guys, 0.4 and 0 0.04. But it's not a big deal, it's very simple. This is positive, this is positive, it's going to fall to the right of zero. Where exactly it's going to fall, it doesn't matter. And this guy is negative. This guy is negative, so it's going to go fall to the left of, left of zero, right there. There we go, we're done. And since we are, since we are being asked to arrange them in descending order, in decreasing order, we start with the biggest one. Biggest one was big and, biggest one was right here, four and one fifth. Four and one fifth. Let's call them name here A, B, C, D. So C is the biggest one. Four and one fifth. I don't know why I did A, B, C, D because I'm not going to use it. That's the biggest one that is bigger. Than, again, go strictly in order. So that's the first one. Then the next one. Pay attention. That's the next one, which which was which was point four. And then keep going. Oh, there is the next one, which was. This guy right there, and that's bigger than the smallest one, which is way over here, way to the left of zero, negative four. There you go. They arrange in descending order. If they had asked us to arrange them in ascending order, it would have been just the opposite order. That's all. That's all there is. Let's do the next one, number four. In number four,
and number four they're asking us to arrange in ascending order they have to increase as we go along and the first one is three eight next one is three quarters the next one is eleven sixteenth the next one is one half the simplest the simplest easiest way here is to make the denominator the same. Let's have them let's let's have a common denominator. And here it's very straightforward. I hope that you're able to see that they're all multiples of two. Two times two is four, four times two is eight, eight times two is sixteen. You see that? So why don't we make everything sixteen? This is only sixteen. How can we convert this guy into sixteen? Well multiply top and bottom by eight. Because as long as as long as the denominator is 16 in all of them, all you have to do is look at the numerator. Because if, the if they have the common denominator, it ceases to play any role into it in determining which one is bigger or which one is smaller. If, you, if the numbers have the same denominators, it plays no role. It ceases to play the role, as I just said. How do we convert this into 16? We already have 4 here. How about 4 times 4? But always remember, whatever we multiply bottom by, we have to multiply top by the same number. That's the whole idea, because 4 over 4 is 1. We are essentially taking 3 quarters and multiplying by 1, hence we are not changing its value. How do we convert 8 into 16? It's very simple. Multiply top and bottom by 2. Voila. Now we are done. We are simply going to write down and then we are going to worry about arranging them. So this comes out to be 2 times 6. 2 times 3 is 6. This is two ta 4 times 3 is 12. This is just 11. And this is 1 times 8 is 8. There you go. Let's so we have to do it in ascending order, which means increasing order, starting from the lowest one. The lowest one is this guy, 6, which came from 3 8. 3 8 is smaller than, the next one comes 8, which came from 1 half. 1 half, which is smaller than, the next one comes 11, which was 11 over 16, which is smaller than, the next one came is 12, which is 3 quarters. Voila. Very simple, very straightforward. You just have to pay attention, that's all there is. Let's do one more, shall we? The last one. Number five. It says arrange. Arrange, this is number five, in descending order. In other words, decreasing order, starting from the largest and going to the lowest, decreasing order. And we have negative one and three fifths, negative one and four fifths, negative one point eight, and negative three quarters. Okay. So first thing first, let's convert all of them to decimal. This is already in decimal, this is already in decimal. It's 1.8, which is which is same as 1.1.80. 1 1 this is 1.45. This is three quarter, uh, three fifth rather. Three fifth, I hope. I hope you know your fifth. One fifth is 0.2. Three fifth is 0.6. 0.6. One fifth. Let's start from the basic. Let's start from the basic. One tenth is 0.1. And one fifth, one fifth is half of that. Or rather, two times of that. One fifth is two times that amount. You see two and ten is going to cancel away. It's two times one tenth. One tenth is 0.1. Two times one tenth is one fifth, which is two times 0.1. Hence, one fifth is 0.2. If one fifth is 0.2, then three times that amount, which is what we have here, three fifth, three fifth must be 0.6. Okay. And they're all negative, so we have to pay attention there. Negative 0.45, negative 0 0.80, and negative one and three quarter, which is 0.75. Now, where they will get you here, if you're not paying attention, is if you forget the fact that they are all negative, if they were all positive, 
if they were all positive, then of course 80 would have been bigger than 75, and 75 would have been bigger than 60, and 60 would have been bigger than 45. But because they are in negative, they go in the other order. They go away from the. Here's our zero. Here's a. Here's a. So wherever, let's say this is negative 1.80. Here you're going to have negative 1.875. Then you're going to have negative 1.60, this is 60, and here you're going to have negative 1.45. And if you don't like the idea of the fact that I put 0 so close to it, let's convert this into negative 1. It doesn't have to be precise, you just have to get the idea of how they are arranged from smallest to the largest. And that's what they want, they want it in descending order. They want to go in. They, they want, they want, oh no, they want in descending order. These are ascending, this is ascending order. As you go from negative 1.8, negative 1.8 to negative 1.75 to negative 1.6 to negative 1.45, they're increasing in order. What we have shown here is the ascending order. They want us to arrange them in descending order. So let's do that. You have to get, this is where they, this is where you have to pay attention. They have to go, they have to decrease. So the biggest one is this guy. Negative 1.45 is greater then negative 1.60 which is greater than negative 1.75 and which in turn is greater than negative 1.8 that was the end of that page that was the end of that topic and that was also the end of that chapter tomorrow we move on to the next chapter chapter number 23 where we will learn how to solve equations for the unknown. Alright? If you want to get hold of me, if you wish to get hold of me, so send me an email at kishwaniprep at icloud.com. Alright? Bye now.